Now, hey developers, so today we're looking at tools and websites that you should know if you're a Vue.js developer. So some of these tools are brand new and some are a little bit older, but I'm trying to pick some ones that you guys may not have heard of or some websites and things that, you know, just aren't as common. So make sure you stay all the way to the end and you can learn all about it. So let's, uh, yeah, let's just dive in and take a look at the websites. All right, so let's begin here. But before, I just want to give a quick plug. I'm working on a live Vue 3 workshop which is gonna be a whole lot of fun. We're gonna deep dive into everything you should know on Vue 3. If you guys are interested in it, I'll put a link in the description below. You can put your email in. I'll email you soon as I have more information about it. But I just wanna give a quick plug. I am doing a workshop on Vue 3. All right, so the first uh, website and tool that I think you guys should know about is called, something called Vue Tele Telemetry. This, I just saw this tweeted out, is really new. It's I believe it's made by the guys who created Nuxt. Basically, it's a way you can discover websites made with Vue.js, WordPress, Gridsome. So anything that's in that environment um, is available and you can look it up here. And it also has a Chrome extension, which is really cool. I went ahead and added it here. So if I click this button in the top right hand corner, it'll tell me like a whole bunch of really useful information. You can see here, like Vue version 2.6.12, framework, Nux.js, UI framework, Tailwind, rendering universal deployment static and then even tells us the plugins that they're using and the Nuxt modules. So it's really cool that they have a whole bunch of information like this. And if you can click on here, it's almost like you can explore like thousands of websites that are using are that are using Vue and you can see what it is. Like here's Zoom video. If if you guys don't know, zoom.us is a, a Vue.js website and they're using 2.6.11 and they're using client-side rendering. So you can even come over here and be like, oh, I wanna kind of give, I wanna find some inspiration and find a website that uses, I don't know, Tailwind CSS. You can click there and here's all these websites that use Tailwind CSS. Or Vuetify, I know a lot of people that listen to this channel really like Vuetify, get questions all the time about Vuetify. I should do some more videos on it. But here are some really cool websites on Vuetify and even shows you like little icons, like these are Nux sites, here's a Vue.js sites. So a whole lot of information. You can even be like, okay, I wanna see like, what are the Gridsum sites out there that are using Vuetify? Here's two Vuetify Gridsum sites, or just in general, they have 23 websites. And they're actually adding websites all the time too. I think it has like several thousand now, but they're adding many, many more. And with the Chrome extension, I think you're gonna even see even more. So. The way the Chrome extension works, you just click the add to Chrome. I don't know if they have it for Firefox yet. I'm assuming they do, or it's very shortly uh, soon to be in there. Once it's installed at any site you are, you are at, like, I don't know, if I go to viewjs.org and I press this little button here, it'll just start loading it. And then it'll uh, display the information like 2.6.12 client side. So yeah, it's kind of a really cool thing. And they're kind of categorizing uh, categorizing all these different sites. Um, Inkline is another really popular UI framework. I've done videos on a lot of these. Chakra UI, I haven't done one on Arugu. I even know what Arugu is. Um, like, so there's zero websites in it. Or you can even look at different plugins, like, you know, Vuex plugins, um, which is really neat. And you can click on any of these sites and it'll bring you up some more information about it and you can kind of, uh, you know, look around. So I, I really like this because that's, as I did in my couple, like last week I did a video on, you know, inspiration, like when you're trying to to create view sites, like seeing what other people done, I think always really helps me out. So very neat. Uh, another thing I just wanted to point out since we were in talking about Nuxt, Nuxt 2.14 came out recently. If you don't know, Nuxt, is, uh, is a, a way you can create, well, I'll, I'll show you their tagline. It's the intuitive view framework, they're calling it. So you can create statically site generated sites. You can use universal applications. You can also run it almost like a normal view site. It's really neat, but they just came out with a new version 2.14. So that's worth mentioning because it also has some faster static deployments. It has a way, like a really cool way you can like bring down markdown files and have those automatically imported in. Yeah, so they they uh they're just they're just continuing to upgrade and build it and make it work better and and I just wanted to give a shout out to them since we are talking about one of their or products. Another one uh, I thought this would be interesting to talk about is Vue Storefront. 
So if you don't know, there is actually a whole project where people have created a headless PDWA for any e-commerce site. It basically has everything you need to get started. It can be hooked up to Magento, Shopware, commercial tools, about the about your cloud pim core shop big commerce it's actually just tweeted out that they're using composables so you, they're actually using the composition api and the latest and greatest version of this which i thought kind of piqued my interest they have a demo on here too which uh, if i can find it yeah here's their demo just kind of see how it is it looks like a, a storefront you can see yeah it just looks like a storefront here hey we can use our little view telemetry to see that you they're using View 2.6.11, universal rendering. So, you know, obviously this is super fast. And here's a whole catalog. So you can see this is a really neat example. And I bet you the source code is available for this, obviously, because this is their demo. If you just look on their GitHub, I'm sure you can find like how they put this together and how they connected everything, which is really neat. And they also have uh, a bunch of videos and descriptions. And you can kind of just looking through this repository and, and seeing how it works is, is really neat. And they even have like Slack communities. They have like how to start, how to install it using, a, using CLI. So that looks like they even have their own starter pack for new customers, which is really neat. You can kind of just clone this GitHub repository. So that's essentially what you do. You start with Glenn, you clone it, and then you can start updating it. So yeah, I just want to give that example of like how pretty neat, neat that is. Now we did mention view telemetry earlier, but I want to show you another website that kind of does something similar. Um, there's actually a Twitter account called Made with Vue.js. And if you go to their website, uh, it's it's sort of like Vue Telemetry, but not in the case that this has a, a lot of different information on it. So you can kind of look up categories, like if you want to see different like boilerplate apps, even shows like different testing apps. So not just like websites, but also like different applications. You can use like here's Electron Nux, like here's different applications that are kind of written with Vue. So this is another great resource to just kind of get an idea of what's out there. They even have a blog. It looks like they're even hiring, they have jobs, or maybe this is, they have their own job board, I'm guessing. Yeah, I haven't looked at this. Yeah, so they have a, if you're looking for a development job using Vue.js, you can check out their dev jobs. So I thought this was neat, and I think it's worth pointing out, like, you know, here's another um, site that kind of explores what uh, in what 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 Vue.js is all about. It even has links to GitHub. So if it's an open source repository, you can click on this link here and get some more information about it and and download the source yourself, which is really cool. And then uh, I wanted to point out to Vue Test Utils. If you don't know what Vue Test Utils is, it's essentially the way to do testing in Vue. I mean, one of the ways, and probably one of the most popular ways. And there's a lot of great documentation on it. I think I should do, if you guys are interested in me doing videos on testing, leave a comment below. I used to do testing videos and no one watched them, but maybe if you guys are interested, I can do some of these. But it's worth it's worth mentioning, like I, actually when I was writing my book, Vue.js in Action, a couple years ago, if you don't know, I wrote a, a book on Vue. The guy that wrote um, Vue Test Utils he actually was writing a book at the same time on testing. So our books kind of came out at the same time, um, coincidentally. And uh, when I wrote my testing chapter, I used his book as kind of inspiration. Now, a lot of things have changed in testing since then, but it, it, this feels very much like the React test utils. If you're looking at Ken C. Dodds, his testing library, I think the Vue test utils got some inspiration from them. And so you can like mount and shallow mount different, different components. Um, I do like this and Cypress as a, a kind of, this is the two ways I like testing. Another reason I brought this up right now, this is not anything new. It's been around for a while, but they just released a new version, 1.1.0, just 17 hours ago as of this video. So they like removed, um, they they just kind of fixed some features. They removed deprecation warnings from is visible, supports components returning render function. So they're definitely continually to update it and change things around. So, you know, highly recommend if you haven't checked out Vest Vue Test Utils or haven't started doing testing in a Vue apps, you know, check this out. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, those are the, the ones I wanted to show just real quickly as some maybe sites you may not have heard of or things that you may not have done and uh, some kind of cool things in the Vue ecosystem that just keep popping up on my radar and I like to share with you guys as soon as I find these cool things. 
and uh, and if it's really interesting, maybe I can jump in and do some more videos on it. I kind of want to play around with View Storefront and just kind of follow one of these starter, these installations, like clone it, try to get it working with Magento or, or something else. I guess one of these these uh, cloud provider shopware or something, just to see if I can just get it working. Uh, it would be kind of interesting to see how exactly this works in the real environment and in the real world. Okay, well, that's all I guess I have, have for you guys today. If you made it all the way to the end, pat yourself on the back and leave a comment. Let me know of all these tools. Did you find one that you haven't heard of before? And if you have, uh, leave a comment below. So I really appreciate it. Thanks, take care.